Hey everybody, KMO here. <laughs> you know, I walked to the store today to buy toilet paper. Not because I'm hoarding, not because I'm freaked out. It's just about out, is the thing. Uh, I, I usually keep a pretty hefty supply of this stuff. Um, why? I don't know. It just sucks to run out of it. So, I went, you know, I walked to the store. I only buy as much as I can carry home in my backpack. And uh, a four-pack of toilet paper takes up a bunch of that room. So I didn't buy all that much food and whatnot. But I noticed that uh, while the store wasn't sold out of toilet paper, here, have a look. There's a big, uh, big patch of shelf space there. Why did people buy the toilet paper from that particular region? I don't know. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it costs. It's not what I got. But whatever it was, people people wanted that toilet paper. I don't know. You know, I uh, ran into somebody I know at the grocery store, and we talked briefly, of course, about, you know, the coronavirus and the response to it. And every conversation that I sort of tuned into walking past people in the store was about the coronavirus. So, coronavirus, somebody asked, you know, um, why, why, you know, put off your move to Puerto Rico because of this, just because things are going to be really up in the air. Who knows? I mean, the next 10 days are going to be really interesting. The next 10 days will determine whether the U.S. is going to be closer to Italy and the spread there or South Korea. Now, we haven't been doing all the things that the South Koreans have been doing. So, so there is no reasonable expectation that we're going to end up, you know, at the South Korea side of the, uh, the continuum. But hopefully we can be toward the middle and not at the, you know, the Ital Italian extreme. But, you know, the number of people showing symptoms today is a reflection of how many people were infected 10 days ago. So how many people have been infected in the last 10 days? I don't know. Who knows? I mean, nobody knows. <laughs> really, nobody knows. But the next 10 days to two weeks, I think are going to be, to put it mildly, interesting. Uh, developments are worth following. It just doesn't seem like the time to make a move. Also, there are certain people in my life, like my mother and other people, who are treating the prospect of me moving to San Juan, Puerto Rico, as if I were moving to Caracas, Venezuela. You know, Puerto Rico's in the United States, but it just, that doesn't resonate. Even if you know it to be true, technically, on paper, for so many people, that just doesn't compute. And, you know, if you think about a Latin American country, there's all kinds of scary stereotypes to invoke. Now, the one, the one that people do bring up, which is undeniably, you know, it pertains in Puerto Rico, is hurricanes. And this is bad form on my part, I know. But there's a part of me, and it's not even all that deeply buried, that is that sort of thrills at the idea of living through a hurricane. And I know, you know, the universe is probably just cackling at the idea of uh, rubbing my nose in the fact that I was, you know, kind of excited about experiencing a hurricane. <laughs> but voluntary lockdown, the whole country shutting down. My kids, well, my my youngest son, anyway, he's still in high school. Uh, he, you know, sent me a text last night telling me that his school is canceled for the next two weeks. Maybe it will be extended beyond that. We don't know. So everybody's going into lockdown. For me, you know, settling into the apartment here and not going out much, that's not much of a change for me. In fact, this whole, you know, virus response protocol that everybody's engaging in, for me, that that encourages me to do the thing that I do by default, which is sort of my vice, which is to, you know, be a hermit which is to not get enough social contact, to get to the point where I'm driving myself a little crazy with isolation. That's like my normal state. So circumstances right now are, are pushing me further into what I would naturally do if just left to my own devices, which is not good for me. So while I have made, you know, I've offered deference to the notion of uh, playing it a little bit safe, staying in a familiar place in a time of, you know, turmoil or, or unpredictability, heightened unpredictability. At the same time, I'm just itching to get out of here, and I am itching to move to a place where there are more people and there's stuff happening 
all the time. But tonight, <laughs> I'm going to go see Parasite at the local theater. It takes me like 10 minutes to walk there from here. <sighs> Hopefully nobody sits right next to me, <laughs> but I am going to risk, you know, social closeness, social engagement. One last time. Alexa, stop. One last time before going into my hidey hole and only emerging for necessary supplies. <laughs>